job or or whatever they would be on the streets too yes ma'am dead spot tv back again man with my home girl diana the dog lady she don't want to be on camera today man today we just walking through through ten city man daytime show y'all what it really look like i mean this is all those places shout out to the homie lalo she kind of got mad at me for telling you that it was his place but oh well and then there's a place being built i don't know that charles will talk to you yeah i don't even know how he'd feel about it <laughs> yeah and then there's a spot right there this is where that water was that night where we i put the bricks and we, we walked over it <coughs> <coughs> That's that statue you were talking about that night. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I guess that's the guardian angel. I don't know how many people get mad at me, though, if they do see somebody with a camera in here, but, I mean, if you were coming in here with your camera by yourself, they'd probably run you out of here. Yeah. Man, I'm just me, man. Look, 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 if, if anybody wants to help us down here, what we could use help with is, um, trash bags like for real to get this trash out of here because they you know they've already provided the dumpster a lot of this where's is stuff, the dumpster um, it's on the other side of that well we'll go over there and just say it man i think we've it would be cool to do like a, a, a tent city cleanup day you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah, anybody wants see, to volunteer to come the, clean up but but the thing is though is the the pasture that uh organized the dumpster and everything said yeah it's different because you can't just come down here and grab anything that y'all would think is trash. Yeah, because like, hey, man, that's my bed. What yeah. the fuck you doing? Yeah, I feel that. I you feel know? Because we have different perspectives of your trash and our trash. Yeah. One man's trash is another man's treasure. So you can't just come in here and throw whatever you think is trash away, you know? You'd have to talk to, you know, we're Whoever's supposed to be there. making piles. Not everybody does what they're supposed to be doing right now. But there's all of, a lot of this stuff was just left behind by, by people like that moved in and, and stayed for a little while and then left or went to jail or or you know stuff like that <laughs> as far as i know we never had any deaths down here i was just thinking about that one more but any what deaths i mean like we've had people go to the hospital from down here but they always come back sick not not shot or anything just sick or Yeah, but that, that is the main point right there where it started. They cut a lot of trees down that were unnecessary to cut down when they did that, though. Yeah, because it took a lot of the coverage off, huh? Yeah, there was trees that weren't even on fire that they were taking down so that they didn't catch fire, though. But none of this got it back here. It was from here. Yeah, it was from, like, here all the way that way. I woke up, and I could see... I was in Todd's place, my boyfriend... And I could see flames through the tarp, and I told him to wake up. And all I could hear is somebody yelling fire. And it didn't quite make it to us. It stopped like right where that blue thing is. So it just burnt this right here. But it's. Were you I don't know. scared? Was I scared? Yeah, me and my man, we took off walking, and I started crying. Yeah, I was scared. That's everything we own. Everything we own: clothes, food. Uh, his t all of his tools that we do, a lot of our stuff, everybody comes to him using tools, so. And it's already a lot more when you ain't got shit to begin with, right? Yeah. Fuck, man. What are they doing? They dumping trash? Uh, no, no. That's somebody, he comes and picks up people to go to work every day. Oh, yeah? Yeah, just people that want to work with him anyways. That's, that's real? Yeah, he comes through here every day. And he's giving every, anybody a shot. He'll give anybody a shot to go to work with What's him. What's his name? Um, or undisclosed, uh, yeah. allegedly. Yeah. You think he want to talk? Or no? Probably not. No, he's really paranoid, man. All right. What are you doing? Yes, sir. Have you been watching? Oh, man. You want to talk? <laughs> All right. Yeah, they ain't ready for that one. Yeah, he can see He does a lot of yard work. Tree work. And he brings uh, all his tree limbs here so he can use it as fire. Normally it's used up real quickly. <laughs> I kind of like it out here. Like, you know what I mean? 
To me, it's real hella peaceful. I like it in the daytime. Oh, it it's, is peaceful during the day. It's at not night, as... At night, it's not so peaceful. People are loud. Oh, that's where the dumpster is. But I'm, like I said, I don't know how many people would actually like you recording. The dumpster is right behind that, that white, uh, or that tan little structure there. I'm not sure what, it's, what it is. I think yeah. it's somebody's house. I think they're living there. So, anybody can just come and, and all stuff and make the spot. Uh, yeah, we don't just, I mean, like, unless, you, unless you're a child or something like that. Baby. Type shit, you can't, can't hang. Y'all yeah, heard that, we man. Don't, we don't want those people around. Even yeah, though if, there's no children If you got the fucked here, up paperwork, man, you's no good in Ten City. Yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't have any kids ever here, but we don't, we don't want those kind of people around. I feel you. I don't think anybody does. You ain't even welcome to Ten City. But Ten City takes people of all colors, nationalities. Yeah, yeah, we do with Ten City. There's a black guy that lives up there. And then um, I don't, I don't know that there's any Mexican people out here. Lalo. Oh yeah, Hilario. <laughs> uh, what? Who? Like, what would the landowner say about like bringing like one of those uh? You know those look, look, sheds look, that they look, be they're having talking at Home about Depot? That. The, the landowner, the property owner of, uh, from that stake right there, there should be some stakes out there, and all the way to Bryant, he's the one who's being super Yeah. Um, him and the pasture that comes down here and helps us has talked about little sheds, insulated sheds. Yeah, I think that would be, that would be fucking dope, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. at least if it was just one or two, and I don't know how y'all work out the, the, the living arrangements, you know what I mean? Oh, but yeah, well, I don't know. Anything's better than nothing. Mm. If y'all yeah, listening. We were, yeah, we were, and, and they're not going to check nobody for lunch or nothing like that. We talked about it, but I don't know, it's just in, it's just in the end stage, which don't, you know, I don't know. Maybe we could do some development out in Tennessee. Hey, you know how there's those showers out there at the lake? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've ever been out to the lake. They've got showers now out there, free showers for the public. I mean, the, to like after you get out of the water and to wash off and stuff. Yeah. I think they should do that here to where they've got those kind of things up in Utah and Arizona, like at their at their uh, forest so you can camp out and stuff. Where would they get the water from? Um, there used to be houses out here. Does the landowner have like any any like water hoses or any water connections uh, out here? He said there's electricity on his property, but no, I don't know about water. They got the fire burning tonight, you know what I'm saying? It's all right out here. During the day would probably be best time for anybody to come out here and try to donate some stuff. Yeah, yeah. We had somebody come after dark, and normally people come to the edge of the edge of the place and yell for somebody, and somebody will end up coming and and you know, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, last night somebody came with some pizzas. They said they had left over. Well, I'm glad people starting to show show a little love hey, to Tennessee. City. Look, that fire is probably one of the best things and worst things that's happened to this place so far. Because, worse, because there's all sorts of new faces and new people, strange people coming down here. And this is our business. I mean, this is our home, our, you know. That's why we like it down here, because it was, it was private. You know, nobody. Yeah. Nobody came out here and being nosy and shit. I'm just saying, I'm not saying man, nothing to you. Until that's why TV came down asking questions, man. But I feel like those are questions that needed to be asked. I feel like you needed to be heard. I understand it. Not everybody does, though. <laughs> yeah, I tell the motherfuckers that don't like it, change the channel. If you don't want to hear what, what Diet of the Dog Lady got to say, man, change oh, they, the they, motherfucking they, 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 they doggy? channel. David Doggin? Nah. I don't care if they do. Whether they do or not, fuck them. You know what I'm saying? They still watching anyway. You know what I'm saying? It's occupying their time and their mind. Right. At least they thinking about it. I hope y'all appreciate when y'all at home, safe in y'all's bed, man. And warm, by the way, because last warm. night we was freezing. Cold in the motherfucker. I, I bet was it was under like five blankets. 32 degrees last night. Was it really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, they're freezing. Yeah, we were out here. Where's B at? Who? Brandon? Yeah. Brandon's something right there. I don't know if he's home. I haven't heard. 
told him you know, he might he not might not be home. Somebody was checking on him. Okay. On on uh the comments on Facebook, somebody they said they wish they could save him. by TV man it's a tent city round two man we just out here looking at it man it's always something to see out here this ain't no tourist attraction man but it's understood this by TV he good anywhere Blessed be to all that enter here. Man. It's a look of life you never know. Alright, that's why TV, I'm out.